FC Dallas opens the season Sunday at Toyota Stadium. FC Dallas defender Atiba Harris joins me to preview the 2016 campaign. Atiba, you're a bit of a journeyman in Major League Soccer. Talk about what makes FC Dallas unique from the other clubs that you've played for. I think I think I feel a little bit at ease here, a lot more at ease actually. Like my family loves it here. Last time we were here, we're, my wife and I we were just two to um, a couple without kids and now we're back with a family this time. So I think FC Dallas have really been an important part to me. We got to MLS Cup last time I was here, then we got to the conference final and hopefully this season will be a step further. And to add some specifics to that, 2009-2010 uh, was when you were here last, you were married, and now you have three kids uh, <laughs> here for your return trip to FC Dallas. Uh, what's it like being a dad? Yeah, it's amazing. It's um, one of those gifts that was granted to me I am, and I'm really cherishing it yeah I'm outnumbered in at home right now so um, yeah but I'm loving the experience and being able to take responsibility for some for young lives and hopefully I'm doing a good, pretty good job at it I mean my wife been telling me that so I'm grateful Let's talk a little soccer here. The team uh, went to the conference finals last year, lost to the eventual MLS Cup champions. What's been done this offseason that makes you confident that you guys can go a couple of steps farther? I think the coaching staff been doing a pretty, it's basically a continuation of last season and the coaching staff been doing their homework, been doing a lot of scouting and they brought in new players to help us with the three competitions that we're participating in this season. So I think all in all the group is a pretty close-knit group including the new players um, we've integrated well and I think we stand a pretty good chance with the debt that we have. Uh, tell me where you are from originally. I'm from St. Kitts and Nevis, a tiny island federation. I think it's the tiniest island federation in the Western Hemisphere. It's in the Caribbean. And, and tell me about how you were able to make it to the MLS and perhaps some of the cultural differences between playing soccer out there and coming to America? Well, it's always hot out there, so I mean, there's no winter out there, so that's that's one thing. Um, in terms of coming to MLS, I think it was back in 2003, I think, St. Kitts U23 played the US 20, U23 and John Ellinger and Peter Mello was part of the coaching staff and they happened to see me there, and, but at the time was contracted to a club in Europe and so happened back in 2005 was free, I was a free agent and I got the call from them and was able to um, hook, link up with John Ellinger and Peter Mello in Salt Lake and we and that's how I got to MLS. And the rest is history and the now you're history, uh, yeah. here in Frisco uh, getting ready to get things going again. Yes, yes and I'm excited about that. And uh, this week you uh, surprised a couple of fans with season tickets who uh, have had some medical problems. Uh, how did all of this come about? Yeah, last season I contacted um, FC Dallas, Leanne and Jason um, about doing something for someone in need and they recommended, they recommended this couple and they sent me the story, FC Dallas sent me the story about it, about them on Facebook and Thomas and Jenny been through a lot and I was just trying to help, was trying to help them because I heard their story and they couldn't afford, they couldn't afford to get tickets, their season tickets for this season and I wanted, I wanted them to be there. My wife and I went over it and decided this is a great thing to do and I mean, at the end of the day, life is more important than soccer. Philanthropy, giving back, two things obviously that, that mean a lot to you. Is there any kind of special connection or, or something inside that said, this is something that I want to do to help out others? Well, I mean, being a dad, I'm, I'm responsible for three, three little kids right now and, I mean, and a wife, so that's four girls I'm responsible for. So giving back, giving back is, is just something it's just something within me. I wasn't, I wasn't raised in a wealthy family. I was raised in a poor family and being able to be fortunate in this position and giving back to the community is a real honor and something I'm really cherishing. Atiba Harris of FC Dallas, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And I'm Edward Egras, Fox Sports.